Hello, so we are back. Finally Friday. And what do we have here? We have a nice laptop. This is a Dell laptop. The jobs come, uh, uh, came from a local repair shop. Uh, water damage, not turning on. Okay, so that's the problem with this laptop. Now let's plug it and see what it's doing. Can he fix it? I mean, water damage is, uh, you know, it's a tricky repair. You found it, found it. So plug in the charger, let me switch the power supply to 19. Yeah. A little bit of current. Plug in the charger and it's taking like 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps, let's press the power button. Pressing the power button nothing happened you can see i mean the current is not going up so it's just dead we don't have any light like charging light or power on light nothing okay oh okay yeah one screw is missing actually there are two missing three missing but let's open and have a look inside and the laptop it's open that's a nice word. Let's check here. I mean, I can't see liquid damage here. Everything is clean. I mean, even on the keyboard, I can't see liquid damage. Let's unplug the, the battery. Let's plug the charger. So the charger is plugged in and it's taking same amount of, power, of, of current. Let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail is... ...19.5. Okay, that's bad. So the main power rail is present. Uh, We have two bias chips here, 1.6 volts, which I don't think is right, and one volt on the bias chip. Do you think this is right? Yeah, one volt on the bias chip? Or I'm not... Pin number one is here, yeah? So we have one volt on the bias chip, and the other one... No, the other one, pin number one is here. And the other one, we have one volt. So it is a bio ship can work with one volt. Hmm? That's the question. Not so. Cannot work with one volt. The lowest I've seen is like 1.8 volts. But from 1.8 to one volt. Yeah. Let's take the board out because uh, at this point I do believe there is some uh, liquid damage. Usually a board, uh, when it's faulty, it's either working or not. I mean, things what you check, either are good or not. But when it's liquid damage, you can have like in the middle, like here. I mean, it's like one volt. It's no missing, it's no right, it's just uh, in the middle. Okay, so we took the board out, and indeed, check there, check there. You can see here some liquid damage, yeah. But it's only there, otherwise, this board is quite clean. It came from here, okay. Let's check closely that area. Yeah, and this area is the area with the BIOS chips, you can see. So that can explain why we have one volt on the BIOS chip. Hmm? So what do you think about that? What is that and what do you think about that? Huh? I mean, it looks pretty straightforward. Let's clean it. We have a resistor and a capacitor. Mm 
Le joie. Now let's check the capacitor, just to be sure it's good. Probably the capacitor is good. Probably it is good. And that's all, it's good. It's fine. I don't know about this resistor, but this resistor looks good. And on the bio ship we have nothing. Uh, one volt, sorry, one volt. So on the bio ships we still have only one volt. Yeah, one volt. You can see. So why is that? Hmm? Of course we have no schematic and no board view. Okay, let's check something else, yeah? Let's go back to the area where was uh, liquid damage. And let's check the voltage on those resistors there. Okay, so on this resistor, what voltage do we have? Here we have 1.1 and here we have 3.3. 1.1, 1 volt, and here 3.3. So I believe here is something wrong. So probably this is the, the, the voltage for the BIOS chip. And uh, this resistor is only passing the voltage here. So here we have 3.3 and here 1.1. Yeah. So if I will short this, should be fine, right? So we short this and it's still taking 20 milliamps of all. Hmm? Let's check the voltage after we short this resistor, yeah? So after we short this resistor, the voltage is 3.3. .3. Okay, that's right. That's right. So what's the solution? The solution is a proper calibrated wire there. It should be fine. It is important uh, there to be a resistor. Well, according with the schematics, yes. But you have to focus on what you want. So what do you want? I want 3.3 on the bio chips. Yeah. Then use a wire. Okay. That's how you should put the problem. I have an email in the morning. Uh, someone looking for help for replacing a fuse. I mean... Come on, it's a wire, you know what I mean? Perfect. A fuse is a wire. You didn't check properly, the, the wire, it will explode. You checked and uh, everything is fine, then it will work on the same way with a wire and uh, a fuse, yeah, there will be no difference. I mean, I understand a fuse is actually a calibrated wire, but just getting stuck on something like that, okay, I cannot fix it because uh, I don't want to use a wire, I want to use a fuse. It's kind of stupid, you know what I mean? Good, oh. The charger was plugged in, I can't believe. The charger was plugged in. Okay, so let's plug only the battery, yeah? Because if the battery is charging, it's a good sign. Everything is okay. So we plug the battery. We plug the charger. Check that, check that, check that. 40 milliamps. And it's going up 700 milliamps. And we have light here. You can see light. Hmm? Now let's unplug those things. Let me plug the screen just to see if we have picture and everything is fine, you know. We don't need a battery, right? On this point, we don't really need a battery. Or maybe. No. If the laptop it will start, now yeah, it will start. We don't need a battery. So let's see if we have picture. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. And it's working. I can't believe actually it's working. 
So basically, the laptop is fixed. Yeah, it is holding the charge. So the only problem was the missing voltage from the BIOS chip. Good, so I'll stop here. I'll not uh, keep you anymore. It was a nice and pleasant job for a Friday. I will say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a beautiful weekend. Bye.